Hello, my name is Samantha and in this video I'll be outlining the various ventilation modes available on the Perseus A500. Manual spontaneous mode is typically the mode used to begin. On the Perseus A500, CPAP can be applied to the patient. Select the parameter, adjust your settings with the rotary knob and anything that is yellow requires confirmation. Just keep in mind that a seal needs to be maintained to apply the CPAP. If a leak in the seal is sensed, the CPAP will automatically change to off. Just revert to your APL valve as per normal practice. VC is volume control mode, which allows you to set a tidal volume and a frequency so that the patient receives a set tidal volume with each mandatory breath. On Draeger devices, the breathing bag is part of the circle and as it acts as a reservoir for mixed fresh gases, this will go up and down with the ventilator. There is the option to synchronise SIMV so that the machine breaths are adapted to the spontaneous breathing of the patient. You can tell that it is active as it is dark green in colour and it is confirmed in the headline bar. If inspiratory effort is detected during the trigger window, a patient triggered breath will be initiated. There is also the option to have sync off, which will be confirmed as CMV. You do also have the option to have the respirate and inspiratory time linked so that the IE ratio can be manipulated simultaneously. For example, your IE ratio will be displayed as you adjust your respirate or inspiratory time. And as you adjust, it will lock your IE ratio so that this will reduce the risk of an undesired IE ratio. In SIMV mode, as you adjust your respirate or inspiratory time, the IE ratio will be displayed. In sync off or CMV mode, the IE ratio will continuously be displayed. If required by selecting more, you will be able to visualise the other parameter settings to adjust if required. VCAF stands for Volume Control Auto Flow. This will still target your set tidal volume but regulate the airway pressure breath by breath. A test breath will occur to estimate the lung parameters and the inspiratory pressure of each breath is readjusted to a limit of three centimetres of water. It will avoid that peak inspiratory pressure and have a more rounded top and typically achieve a lower airway pressure than in volume control mode. You'll also observe a decelerating flow waveform. PC pressure control mode means mandatory breaths are machine triggered and are pressure and time controlled. In this mode, you also have the option to have sync on or sync off. Pressure support ventilation is assisted ventilation with pressure support mode. When no inspiratory effort is detected, mechanical breaths are delivered at the set minimum respirate. Machine breaths can be differentiated by the pink color and after two consecutive machine breaths, you will notice an advisory blue message stating apnea ventilation. Patient breaths will be grey in colour and you'll also notice the lung symbol displayed in the right corner. Turning delta pressure support off allows for purely spontaneous breathing at CPAP level. APRV stands for Airway Pressure Release Ventilation. For devices that have been configured with APRV, 
This mode is ideal for patients with lung complications such as acute lung injury, atelectasis or acute respiratory distress. It is a pressure control mode that utilises inverse ratio ventilation strategy to facilitate ventilation while maintaining alveoli inflation and is ideal as a lung protective ventilation mode. The upper pressure level can be set as P high and maintained for a duration of T high. The pressure releases are time controlled and can be set by T low. To support carbon dioxide elimination, the pressure is reduced for the brief period T low at P low. APRV aims to minimise movement of chest and recruit area of the lungs that have collapsed and is typically seen on ICU ventilators. Also available on the Perseus A500 is pause. The purpose of pause is to pause ventilation and fresh gas delivery. This can be used during intubation, the detachment of the breathing circuit from the artificial airway and to prevent and agents entering the surrounding environment. This also prevents a depletion of the reservoir bag and may avoid fresh gas low or leak alarms to be triggered. You'll notice that a two minute safety time limit is triggered when entering pause mode. When the timer is up, a pause time expired high priority message will be displayed on the screen. Just keep in mind that until you select resume ventilation or a ventilation mode, fresh gas delivery will not recommence. So, either select resume ventilation and confirm with the rotary knob or select an alternative ventilation mode. The alternative use of pause is to monitor CO2. This can be done by selecting pause from the main start menu. You'll notice that the timer is defaulted to off and confirm with the rotary knob. If you were to enter a ventilation mode and then revert back to pause mode, you'll notice the two minute safety timer has been applied. To modify this, if it's safe to do so, tap on the timer and increase the timer if required or turn it anti-clockwise to off. Confirm this and then confirm your mode. For users with the newest software, you will have a monitoring mode available. This is similar to the pause mode. Selecting this will allow you to monitor CO2 but pause all other alarms. There will be no ventilation or fresh gas delivery. To access the external fresh gas outlet, this needs to be selected from the ventilation modes. A banner will also confirm that you are flowing through the external fresh gas outlet on the side of the device. This is for use with non-rebreather circuits such as the AIRS T-piece. For more information on ventilation modes, please refer to the instructions for use or contact your local Draeger representative.